So uh, this time I will introduce how to uh, attach fun shroud mode which I created to uh, mirror end of sunrise. So first thing first you have to unscrew the head socket head cap screw here and here and as well as the one which holds the stepping motor here. And I'm not sure this is the original one or not, but at least my, my uh, M3 screw has a 35 mm, 35 millimeters so use the same rings and other stuff is uh, this is M4 uh, I think it's what it was a 20 or something yeah 20 M4 20 two pieces and uh, and uh, this one is uh, uh, 8 millimeter M3 use the your favorite shape I will take this one and this is two pieces and uh, I think this one is a 10 millimeter. Uh, focus is not. Oh yeah, 10 millimeter. Yeah, one pieces and uh, and this one is uh, yeah. And you will need other like a 16 16 millimeters. Yeah, 16 millimeters, two pieces. And that's it. And other stuff. Uh, this design will need a heat set insert here. M4. I think the uh, thickness, the height of insert nut is five millimeter here. And uh, I'm not sure. Measure it by yourself and use whatever you want. Uh, this does not uh, like maybe five or something. Let me measure. Uh, yeah, six or five, or if you don't have it, then use four or something. But this one is uh, M3. This side is M3, and uh, this side is uh, M4. So be careful. And uh, what else? Of course, you will need uh, this rover from 5015. I took this time a uh, GDS time uh, brushless fan at uh, 24 volts. The usual stuff you can get it on Amazon as well. And uh, okay, let me start. Uh, so first thing first, you have to put these parts to like this here. So if you print with FDM, then the tolerance should be uh, kind of tighter because this has to be fits in the hole on the full one zero fan here. And you will need, uh, I think, M316 bolts here, and uh, fix the position of the fan unit. So just be careful, because uh, if you're gonna use uh, shear touch or BL touch, same rack as me, oh, this area is hard to access after all the installation is done so not too tight but uh, just make sure that parts will not uh, like a, the screw will not <laughs> like came out like a, with vibration or something and, uh, and the next thing is uh, take your 5015 bro wolf on and uh, use M4 bolts here Oh, the focus is not okay. There we go. So, if you print with uh, MJF like I did, it will fit perfectly, and it kind of also rules. So maybe you can put some like a hot glue. Oh no, hot glue is not recommended. But yeah, you can put something in here like a silicone or something to insure it completely if you want. Insurate this pro power Ah, yeah, forget about it. I'm not, I'm not good at the uh, vocabulary stuff in English. So, okay, let's get, uh, let's go to the next step. And uh, after you uh, screw the fans here and just place it like this. And uh, which one? Yeah, M3 eight millimeters. Use two pieces to ah. 
but that's like this. There we go. And finally, uh, not final, but uh, use M4, M3. No, this doesn't fit. What? No. I said, I think I did, I said wrong measurement. No, this M3 8mm is not necessary. <laughs> you will need this one, I think. This one's like a uh, 12. Yeah, 12. And uh, which one? The strange thing is the stainless steel screw, which I bought from AliExpress, stick well to the magnets on the build plate. Hmm. That's a strange. Uh, so strange. But let's forget about it. Okay. Now this thing is almost fixed the position and uh, finally you will need this little mount here. Press it like this and uh, hold it together with a uh, stepping motor here. No, not this one. You have to tighten up this here because otherwise the stepping motor will get loosened and uh, yeah casualty happens uh, and uh, yeah finally where's the hole okay you can also use rock nut to hear this area it's up to you but I'm lazy to use rock nut here so uh, just use this one and uh, maybe this one? No, not this one. Uh, where is my proper tool? Yeah, let's forget about it. My hand is the best tool. Okay, so installation is done, but make sure your hot end nozzle is like a lower than the fan shroud here. The bottom of fan shroud and as well as please make sure your fan shroud is uh, like a parallel to the to your heat bed otherwise this fan shroud will crush your prints and yeah it will damage your something yeah and if the if this position is not like a the nozzle and the fan shroud is like uh, almost same maybe it's not uh, I, don't, I don't recommend that so just loosen the screw inside this here and like a, a lower the position of this throat a little bit not not too much because if you move too much then I think it's not good I forgot the internal structure but I don't recommend to lower too much but at least uh, your nozzle and the uh, functional bottom bottom surface will have some proper clearance so don't forget to uh, yeah, get some clearance. And if you are uh, BioTouch user, where the fuck is my? Okay. If you are uh, use some rebearing sensor like me, just uh, use. Uh, oh, oh. this here Okay, it's done. So this is the yeah. This I think it's finished. Yeah, and yeah. So again, please 
don't forget to check the clearance in between the nozzle surface and the fan shroud bottom plate and uh, make sure it's parallel to your heat bed okay that's it for everything for the installation please give me some feedback and I think this can be uh, printed with uh, FDM as well as well as the, like some super expensive resin but yeah make sure everything is fit as it is all right no not as it is right <laughs> uh, anyway <laughs> thanks for watching enjoy your prints bye